walk my brethren, me go get my crep, me go get my picnic, um, hunger, hunger lick me up. <laughs> That's better. Welcome back to our channel. Yeah. At least I tried something. You did. That was good. This is episode number four. Four. Wow. Four Welcome in a back row. to four. Hey. I'm Shireen. I am Peter. Gotta make it big, babe. If it's not big, it's not saying anything. Wow. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Big. Welcome back to PS Everything. everything. What are we talking about today, Shireen? Um, so it's gonna be mixed couples things part two. Yeah. Dos. What we've learned about each other's culture. Yeah. And yeah. maybe just what we've learned about each other personally. Yeah. A little bit too. Mm-hmm. Sure. Think that'd be good. Yeah. It's almost like a Q and A, but it's like there's no Q to the A. Yeah. But some of the information. Right. Sure. Now you start. What have you learned about myself and my culture? Sure. Well, one thing that was interesting to me that I never really noticed before. When we started hanging out on deployment, she would always put this thing on her head when she went to sleep. <laughs> my tie head? My tie head. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, like a silk blanket thing. <laughs> like a little towel. Over my hair. Yeah. So she ties it around her head. Oh, we gotta that insert night. that clip of oh, you sure. doing it. <laughs> sure, yeah, I'll put that in there. But then eventually I found out the reason for it. And correct me if I'm wrong. Go ahead. Tell it, us. Ultimately, it's to protect your edges when you sleep. <laughs> so that happens when you start dating a black woman. Gotta protect my edges. <laughs> and to those white folk out there, your edges is the edge of your hair oh goodness and it can break off if you don't take care of it and then you don't want like a receding hairline looking all 80 years old and whatnot <laughs> but really it's for more like to retain to keep all that moisture in keep so the that moisture in there. your hair doesn't friction and break right. from like drying out from the cotton pillowcase Right. In most cases. So, okay, yeah. so it's the moisture. High five. Right? So I got nice, it right. You did. Good job. Nice. Yeah. One for one. Well, sure. Oh, well, we're not even keeping scores, but fine. Sure. Sure. Good job, honey. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what else have you really learned about like my hair or just oh. in general? <sighs> wow. Hair, natural hair. Sure. For black people is a lot of work. Well, it can it, be. It yeah. can be, right? Yeah, yeah. It seems like a lot of work. Yeah. I mean, you're, you put a lot of work into your hair. I do. And it looks great. Thank you. I mean, come on. He's so cute. Let like, me go on. Wow. I never really thought of this ahead of time. Sure. But there's a lot of people mm -hmm. who like will just wear wigs. Yeah. To like, because it's simpler. Yeah. Right. A little bit easier. So you can like, or weaves. Mm -hmm. Right. To, but it's kind of funny now. It's like sometimes I'll notice it now. Mm -hmm. Because before um, before dating you, I would never you even just think thought of it. Was it. Hair, yeah. unless, unless it was like ridiculous braids. Oh, and you sure. could tell. Yeah, yeah. But like a lot of times, it looks pretty good. Yeah. So I would just real. assume I didn't know any. Like I was like, oh. And that's good. That yeah. means whoever they got it done with did a really good job. Right, if you right, know right. that it's. But most of the time, too, with the wigs and braids and weaves, it's like to protect the hair itself oh. from drying out and breaking mm. off. So you basically, it's like wearing a scarf all day then. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How long have you been growing your hair now? So I cut it all off in 2013. Mm -hmm. So this year would be seven years now since wow. I cut it 
Well, it's nothing. You should pull it up, like see how long Yeah, it, it gets pretty long. Let's see, this is just a back door. Yeah. Wow. Down to like my boobage. Wow. My boobage. That's a long, that's, that's okay. It's getting down there. It's, it's, it's getting down there. Yeah. I like your hair a lot. Thank though. you. So Sorry, she's got that. a, okay, let me, let me see if I can mm -hmm. get any of this right. Yeah. You got to do oils. Sure. Mm -hmm. And creams. Yeah. And there's something you like, you put the oil, like butter cream mm -hmm. in your hair to keep the moisture in. Mm -hmm. And then you let it sit for a while. I let it dry in there. Yeah. And then you put on your like cap. Oh, you're talking about like like washing when it. I'm washing it. Oh, yeah. so I do like a pre-shampoo thing with mm -hmm. the oils. Mm -hmm. My mom told me that. So you put the you basically heat up some oil, not mm -hmm. too hot, just a couple seconds. And before you put any soap in your hair, you kind of want to pre-detangle it. Like so, you put in the oils and stuff, and like stretch it out and mm -hmm. get some of the dead hair out. And then you kind of let it steam for or open up the hair follicles, I guess. For like 30 minutes to an hour. Sometimes I go crazy and just let it stay in there for a mm -hmm. while. And then after that, you shampoo, shampoo, but I don't really use shampoo. It's more like um, that soap, mm. black soap. Yeah. Yeah. I tried shampoo before and it just dried out my hair too much. Yeah. Like just, it was just too dry. Even though I would shampoo and then do deep conditioning, it was still just still dry over time. So, but my mom makes some kind of like, pseudo shampoo it's like black soap and she melts it down and sometimes she puts even coffee in it wow it's a whole thing wow. whole thing so mommy i'm looking for mine to come in the mail she said she mailed it out <laughs> i am proud of you now though for um body buttering and oh. lotioning oh that's the next thing that I've you learned. are lotioning yeah i realized mm -hmm. that White people never lotion. Like we don't on ge in general. Yeah, some like, do. It's not. But, it's yeah. not like a common thing. Sure. And it's not taught very often, at least from in my experience. Yeah. And that's why, like, in, especially in like winter and stuff. Oh yeah. Skin skin gets all dry and yeah. like cracked and stuff. Mm -hmm. But black don't crack. <laughs> and there's a reason for it. Because y'all be lotioning all the time. Please forgive him. All the time. It's so, like it's a great, I mean, it's so smart. Well, it's just like mm -hmm. something that I, we, I just didn't, I it didn't think yeah. of. Yeah. We don't, I don't think of it. I remember I used to tell you like, lotion your face. Yeah. Moisturize your face. You're like, why? Uh, it just seems like a waste of time. Uh, and then I'm just like, how is your skin mm -hmm, so soft mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all the time? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then I see the, like the body bar. I got, I did my elbows today. Nice work. Look at them getting all smooth. Getting all smooth. Yeah. Yeah. I'm learning. You're learning. I'm very proud of you, honey. Very, very proud of you. Yeah. So let's see here. What else? I learned mm -hmm. that when you eat fish, sure. like if it's a whole fish, oh. normally I would eat the meat like a normal person. <laughs> but <laughs> We don't know what normal really means here. Normally, yeah. I have grown up knowing to eat the meat off the bone sure. and the rest goes in the trash. Sure, yeah. Unbeknownst to me, you can eat the whole face. Yeah, you and the, the eyes. Head of the fish. Yeah, the eyes are the best part. See, I me. didn't know this. Yeah, I'm learning things, but it's exciting because yeah. I like all variety of foods. Yes, and good. I'm very open to to trying things. Yeah. So I I've uh, I did that when we were deployed. Yeah, you I ate, ate the, like, the whole, whole fish. The whole he fish. ate the head, and I was very proud of you for ate not the, throwing ate it away. The eyes, the eyes too, because yeah. if you really think about it, when you get that salt, pepper, salt and pepper, and that seasoning in the face of the fish, yeah, and you get to just, it's so good. <laughs> just <laughs> you're scared of worms, but you can suck the yeah, eyes out of the I fish. I would not touch a worm. We will not go there. I learned that this past weekend. We, they do worm digging for, for, fishing. for fishing. Like yeah. they literally take a shovel and dig until they find the little worms and pick them and up. And she is just terrified. Did I die a little? Terrified. I could have. She had this little toy shovel that was like three feet long. Yeah. 
and my nephew had yeah. the worms on the shovel. They asked And she's the holding whole... it. Yeah. Like no. this. First of all, they and said to the me, let's go worm get. digging. And then they're like, well, we don't have anything to put the worms in. So they gave me the shovel and said, oh, yeah, we could put it on her shovel. So here I am with the shovel and the moving worms. I can just feel it right now. It's that so gross. worms and snakes, I think, are the worst. Oh, if, a, if a snake comes on the TV, Forget even it. she'll cover her I eyes. I do not mess around. You realize it can't hurt you from the I, TV. Says who? I can't explain the way I am. It's not my fault. It's okay. It's but anyway, okay. I don't mess around with the creepy crawlies. Mm -hmm. No, sir, won't do. But yeah, that's one thing I did learn about your culture. Like you guys are very outdoorsy camping fishing you know fun things mm -hmm. that i really wasn't very much exposed to which is kind of nice right because mm -hmm. now i get to experience those things but um there's a lot of like getting down and dirty but i'll cook the fish when you catch it mm -hmm. i'll even clean the fish whoa i'll do the gill thingies mm -hmm. and cut it and take out the inners you will? sure yeah i'll do all that stuff wow. but i will not touch the worm but yeah what else have I learned about your culture and stuff? Oh, I learned that you guys like different games. Oh, sure. Like dominoes. Oh, dominoes. Oh, yeah. Um, and mm -hmm. it's just a shame that like I came in so quickly and just <laughs> learned it so fast and became a victor, you know, the winner. <laughs> Sorry, Sharika. So you are very competitive. My sister loves dominoes. Sorry, Sharika. And he beat her a couple of times, but- Maybe next time. She would- She won she, too. Yeah, she would be like, oh, yeah. let's be real. Let's yeah, remember I yeah. beat you. But my mom, my dad, especially, they love dominoes. It's fun. And, and I didn't know how to play before, mm -hmm. before I met you. I never really played dominoes. Yeah, and look at you now, pro. Cruising. Just cruising through it. I'm a gamer. I like games. You're a gamer. You're a, you're a gamer, homie. No, keep it up. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Another thing I noticed is when you have chicken, yeah, you chew the bone. You eat like the you'll whole break the bone chicken. and eat like yeah. suck out the bone marrow. Yeah, which I've tried, which I've started to do. Yeah. Because listen, because I ain't no punk. He ain't no punk. I'll try new things. And also, you don't want to waste chicken. To me, is a delicacy. Mm -hmm. When done right, it's really, really good. Well, that's another thing. You're all about like seasoning. All stuff. about seasoning the food. I'm not a black pepper and salt kind of girl. No. Yeah, and that's a very white person thing. We put salt and pepper everything. And that's basically it. Yeah. And I'm sorry. I we are not trying to offend anyone. Well, maybe a little. No. If you're easily no. offended, I hope you're offended. Because oh. you need to get some thicker skin. Because oh. we're not saying anything that's going to hurt anybody's yeah. feelings. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. Good. There's so, differences between people. Good. And we're, we're learning. We're just acknowledging the differences. We're educating from our own experiences. Right. And it's a good thing. Good things to educate each other in yeah. about different cultures. But yeah, I usually see the chicken. Now our seasoning cap, our, our spice. Covered. Yeah, cabinet yeah. is full and all it's great and we use them all listen yeah you get that chicken and you season it at least a couple of days in advance put it in the fridge let it marinate and then you can eat all the way down to the bone yeah chew that thing up she makes a darn good marinade yeah i should write it down one day you should. but no i'm more of a sprinkler so yeah no it's one delicious. day though but yes um very important to season your food, to wash your food in that apple cider vinegar. Sure. Yeah. That I didn't know either. Yes, you wash the chicken in the apple cider vinegar. You do all Not that good all stuff. Not all apple cider vinegar. It's like a no, mix with the water. No, it mixes with the water. Sure. Yeah. You just, yeah. It's good it's, for bacteria. And your cleaning. fruits, you wash your fruits too in the apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can See, I would it. always just rinse it in the sink. Yeah, but. Oh, well, that's not I think. I don't know mm -hmm. if this is just you, you personally, oh. but um, you call the sink the pipe. Oh, well, and I've never heard that before. Yeah, turn it's the, the like off. the faucet or the sink. Who says faucet? Well, some people say faucet. I guess. Turn off no, the faucet. Turn off the faucet. Turn off the pipe. If you go to uh, like um, Home Depot <laughs> yeah. or Lowe's or something, yeah. and you say, "Can you take me to the pipes?" I mean, they're yes. gonna take you to physical pipes. I if mean, you yes. say, "Can you take me to the faucets?" Sure. They're not gonna take you to the pipes. They're gonna take you to the 
faucet. I do. I I will from now on call it the faucet. No, no, Unless no. no. I'm not I like thinking. when you call it the faucet. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't, want you, to, time, I don't want you to change anything. Most of the time, while we're just talking and stuff, mm. I'm not thinking of what's the American way to say something. No, I'm just I, like. You know, yeah. and that's the thing too. Is like I don't. Mm. I actually get upset, like, if you say something that's more, like, Jamaican or your own culture, like, yeah. the, the verbiage, yeah. and then you, like, correct it. It's oh. like, no, like, just, just say, say it. it. <laughs> just say it how you want to say it, because I think it's Fine. adorable Fine. and very interesting, and it's uniquely you, oh. and I want you to be you. You're so cute. Mm. Oh, God. We tried. We tried. <laughs> um, so, I saw a question um on this the mixed couples thing is a whole questionnaire so we've seen videos like this we just wanted to do it our own way not so much a q a yeah. but i did see this question that i would like for us to answer sure and it says wouldn't it be easier to date within your own race mm. Mm. so i'll answer first and then you can think about it okay. um sure easier is the right word right to not have to explain things or to teach others something. Sure, why not? But then, mm -hmm. why limit yourself to that, right? Mm -hmm. Why think of, oh, why I should do what's easier mm -hmm. or what's simpler? Mm -hmm. Why not, you know, just live? Yeah. And if you happen to fall in love with someone in your race or culture, mm -hmm. great, you fall in love. Yeah. And then if you don't fall in love with someone in your race or your culture, you still fall in love. It's great. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. Why not? Yeah. So, sure, it would be easier. But, I mean, if that's what you want to do, personally, mm -hmm. do that. But if you happen to find love outside of your culture, that's also right. really great and excellent. And you should just go for it. I think it's important that you said your culture. Yeah. Because I think that there's actually more differences between cultures than there sure. are between races. Sure. Because yeah. if you have um, people that, well, actually, let me say this first, mm -hmm. is genetically all what we call races are like 99.9% .9 the same. Yeah. It's just like the melanin in our skin yeah. and like different hair structures, follicles, sure. like we're, there's one race yeah. and it's the human race. Oh wow. It what? is. Like truly. It is. I've heard like, yeah. It's the human race yeah. and then there's different like genetic expressions. Mm -hmm. I agree. So like, I think it's silly that there even are like different races. I yeah. think different cultures is more sure. like a better way to say it because if you get like a white kid from inner city Detroit mm -hmm. and then you compare him to like um, the son of a lawyer that went to Harvard, like a Harvard professor and maybe he's black. Mm -hmm. Like those cultures are going to be completely different. That's true. And you could say that the the black kid might act more like a white person because his dad's a Harvard professor. Don't you just hate that? And then the white kid from inner city Detroit is like a thug. Mm -hmm. And maybe, you know, and you could say like, oh, he's acting more like a black person. It's stupid. It's so silly. It's so stupid yeah. that we get these, like, there's some truth to some stereotypes, but it's like race, majority race doesn't exist. There's cultures. Yeah. But majority of what's white or what's black is a stereotype, yeah. right? Yeah. And we, per personally, I just won't fall into it. Yeah. And I but just won't. as far as the question goes, I would say it would be, I don't know. I just think. I really don't even think about it. Mm -hmm. Like, and I'm not just saying that. Like, I genuinely don't think about you not being a white person. Um, I think that one of the reasons we get attracted to somebody else is because of their uniqueness mm -hmm. and of their differences from us. Yeah. Because someone said, because like, if you date someone or if you um, are in a relationship with someone that's the same as you, there's no need for that person. Yeah. Because you already exist. <laughs> So it's like you want somebody that compliments you mm -hmm. and that challenges you and that is, has unique differences to you. Mm -hmm. And I love that you're a different culture and that I get to learn mm -hmm. and that it's like unique things that, I don't know, it's, it's interesting and it's fun and yeah. I love you because of everything that you are. Aww.
What are you gonna do? It's so good and so corny. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, no. But I genuinely don't yeah. even think about it. No. Like, once in a while, if mm -hmm. we're in, like, a, if we're driving through, a, a, like, a very white town or something like okay. that, the, the thought might cross my mind, like, I hope they're not, like, racist or something like that. Mm -hmm. Because I'm just, sometimes I want, I, I just want you to be safe. Right. And I, I don't think that's an issue where we live, like, no. at all. And I've never really noticed anybody, yeah, like, no. looking at us any specific way. No, I can't say I have. Well, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, for spending your time with us. Yeah. And, um, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. We'll see you in a week. Duty's cold. Swear upon us the week to just give us vision as we perish. Now send us Heavenly Father Grant to I forgot my ring Wisdom from among Justice to see us forever To make a land we love Now spin Jamaica Boom Jamaica Boom Jamaica land we love. What, m my brethren? Me a go get my crep. Me a go get my picnic. Um, hunger, hunger, lick me up. <laughs> I thought you were asking me about bunununus. Bunununus. <laughs> You're fired. Me, me a get my bunununus. Oh boy. I don't know about this. <laughs> Bye. Fun. No. No, just a regular kiss. Why can't we ever just do a regular kiss? Oh, I love your pucker. You're a really good pucker. Okay. There we go.